and welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today, we're doing a new My Little Pony custom. In addition, we're going to create a resin dish stand for it. As some of you know, I recently started a new channel, Poppy DIY Crafts. And over there, I'm doing a lot of epoxy resin artwork. Many of my artwork and crafts there include toys. So make sure to check out my other channel if you have a chance. Today, we're going to make a snowdrop. Snowdrop is a fan-made animated short made by Silly Philly Studios. Snowdrop is a light blue Pegasus filly who is blind. The animated short is very good, so check it out if you have not seen it. To make Snowdrop, we're going to be using Fluttershy. And to make the dish stand, I have a silicone mold and some ink. Let's go ahead and start with the dish stand first, because epoxy resin takes a day to cure, and we're going to be pouring a few layers. So we're going to need some extra time. So let's put on the respirator and gloves and pour some resin. We are going to mix 100 ml of resin. When mixing resin, always mix it well, otherwise the resin may not cure properly. The mold we're using is a snowflake hand mirror that I got from a recent subscription box. We don't need the handle part of the mold, so we're going to block it off. To do this, I'm going to use a little ball of clay. We're going to shape it into a little rectangle and press it into the space on the handle. I made sure that the clay piece isn't too small or else the resin might leak around it. And just for extra protection, I'm going to use a bit of UV resin on the other side of the clay and cure it with my UV lamp. This way, for sure, resin is not going to be leaking through. Then, we can pour the resin into the snowflake cavity. Now for the fun part, we're going to drop some alcohol ink into the resin. We're going to use some blues and teal. After adding the colored inks, I'm going to pour some white resin. Then using the heat gun, we'll mix the colors a bit. I want to see the different colors so we're not going to mix it too much. Alright everyone, so it's been a day and I'm really excited. So as you can see here, the little um, hack that we did here of clay and UV resin did stop the other resin from flowing down the handle here. So at this time, we can demold. Go ahead and take a look and see what we got. Oh, this really worked. Look at that. Here's a side, and oh goodness, look at that. That is looking super, super cool. Oh wow. This is really neat. Look at this up close. So here is now the front. This is where we put the clay. And what we can do is take a little um, piece of sandpaper and sand it down so that it's smoother. Here I'm demolding some little crystals that I made from the leftover resin. I think these would work very well as little feet for the plate. Now we're going to add the next layer. We're going to pour a smaller batch of resin, about 30 ml, and we're going to split the resin into separate cups to make blue, light blue, and white. And we're going to alternate colors as we pour them into the middle of the snowflake. Once again, we'll mix the colors using the heat gun and also with a toothpick to swirl the resin. Then in the middle, we're going to add a little bit of clear resin. Now we wait another day for it to cure. 
Alright, the top of the plate is done and it is looking super cool. So now let's flip it over on this side and let's add our legs. So we are going to put our little legs in a little triangle like this. And we're going to secure it using some E6000. Now, let's work on Snowdrop. The first thing we're going to do is remove her mane and tail. We're not going to remove Fluttershy's head, so we will cut a hair as close as possible to the scalp. To paint her, we're going to use a mix of sea mist pearl, white, and island blue. Next, let's build her hair using oven baked clay. I rolled out a small ball of clay and we're going to cut out her front bangs. Let's put it on top of her head. This clay is very easy to shape. Then, using a long tapered log, we're going to curl up the ends, flatten it a little bit, and place it on the right side of her head. We're going to do the same for the other side. Once we're done with the mane, instead of using an oven and potentially melt the pony, we are going to use a heat gun to cure the clay. This is probably not very ideal and the clay may not be fully cured all the way to the middle, but we also don't risk melting the pony or ruining the paint. Now let's make the tail. We're going to make one end tapered and give it a small curl. Then taking a small craft stick, we're going to stick it into the other end and attach it to the back of the pony. Now let's paint the mane. We're going to start with white. And then add some blue stripes. For the eyes, we're going to start with white. Then using the same colors as the body, we're going to add the irises. Then the pupils using a slightly darker shade of blue. Her eyes are like this because she is blind. After that, we're going to add some white dots. And with black, we'll line her eyes and add lashes. Going back to the tail, we're going to paint it white also, and then add some blue stripes. And finally, to have her look really awesome, we're going to finish with a layer of dragonfly glaze. And one more thing before we forget, we need to add her cutie mark. Alright everyone, and we are done! What do you think of Snowdrop? 
I think these customs look so much better when they come with a custom stand. I think I need to go back and do this for the rest of my custom ponies. So here is an up close look at Snowdrop here. I am really loving that dragonfly glaze at the very end. It adds just a little bit of sparkle without being overwhelming and she just looks really really amazing. Just take a look at her. I just love all her colors. The blue and white look so good together. And here of course is her dish or her little display stand. I added a little flower. I did have some extra resin so I kind of poured it into a mold that I had. And it turned out really pretty so I thought it would be nice to kind of add it here. And also it's, it's to really mask this kind of handle section that does not match the rest of the snowflake. This snowflake of course is in two different layers. In the middle here is a darker shade of blue with some glitter. And then on the outside we have a little bit more clear mixed in with the blue paint. And I think it looks really great. It looks like little clouds or little snow inside the clear resin. Just take a look at that side. So nice. So here is the bottom. The bottom is so pretty. And of course we have our stand. Also made from leftover resin. And it's really cool. It looks like it's kind of going downwards. Going from a solid down to clear. And the stand just lifts the entire plate up about almost an inch. So this was a really fun custom to do. It took many, many days just because of the resin, but I think in the end, it was all worth it. So let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my snowflake pony and stand. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!